Oh, a new face. I haven't seen you before. It depends on who's asking and why. Yes, it's pretty. I know what it means, as I'm pretty sure I know where it came from. That's for sure. All you need to do is take a walk around this place instead of sitting on your ass inside the horns like the other keepers. You say I'm supposed to offer you help? Well then, do you have questions? You can see I have plenty of time. It would be nice to talk to someone who's not a keeper. I don't meet many outsiders these days. So, hello. I'm Marg, a hunter in the service of the Horns of the South. You aim, and then you shoot. Always sneak from upwind. That's about it. But I never refuse those. Everything is interesting around here. West of here, you'll find the sunken village. It was once the beating heart of this region. If you go northeast, you're bound to reach the Archspire. It's worth seeing its glory with your own eyes. It's long and glorious, but it doesn't end well. The Horns of the South used to be much more independent from Camelot. We had our own marketplace, artisans, and the best cuisine in the region. The rich and the mighty of Camelot came here in droves and left mountains of gold behind. Those with some decorum would pay their respects at the tomb of our keep's founder, Seawar Firstfoot. And then came the flood, or rather, a wave, angry and monstrous. It swept away the entire village along with all the inhabitants. Some people say the druids were responsible. I'd be more inclined to think that the village was built in a place that sooner or later would end up underwater. Our new village is placed between the rocks at the foot of a cliff instead of on a beach that's exposed from all sides. It's definitely safer. We can only hope that by rebuilding what we lost, we'll regain our former glory. Whether under Camelot's banner or any other, the people of the South deserve their own place. As for the monsters, we have drowners and a few Brindelow's dens. If you ever end up in a cave, beware of the flame gobblers. Oh, and I've noticed an old influx of the undead from the old cemetery. They've always been there, but at the moment, it seems like there are a lot more than usual. I'm self-sufficient enough not to have to ask for help. However, I suppose I could help you share some of the things I found during my hunts. There's not much to tell. No one knows where it came from or what its purpose is. Everyone has their own theory, except me. I just enjoy looking at it. You should too. No. I have my reasons. You need to understand that when someone enlists with the Horns of the South, he leaves his former self outside the walls of the keep. His old life loses all meaning. If someone comes here and gets political, well, they'll end up disappointed. I don't know if you're aware, but becoming the captain is a curse for any true keeper. It's not the honor others on Avalon seem to think it is. because the captain answers to Camelot and its representative, Galahad. So every captain needs to get political whether he likes it or not. And the current Galahad is a real piece of shit. 
He hangs people under any pretext whatsoever, or none at all. He sows terror. I have no respect for that man. Just wait until they let me out. I'll be you so hard your own mother won't recognize you. Come a little closer so I can at least spit in your face. No one asks your opinion. I drink because I want to. I drink because God and the empty gay is the most boring shit in the world. What's this year anyway, huh? Maybe I was drunk, but the gate was guarded. It's not your damn pin, I wouldn't even let you in. But, but all is not lost. We can still be friends. Listen, just pour something delicious down my throat, huh? And I'll forget this insult. I'm not guarding the gate now, am I? There's nothing wrong with having a little sip, right? Come on, don't be like that. Just a drop. That's all I ask. <sighs> I knew it, my friend. I knew we could get along. Oh, delicious. <laughs> You're the best, you know. <laughs> Yes? Did you find out what's been happening out there? Great. A necromancer. Just what we needed. It wasn't the dark druid from the legends, was it? 
Good thing you got rid of him then. We already have the Dol Riada almost in our doorstep. We don't need an army of the undead on top of that. You did well. Maybe it's not so bad having you here. Unfortunately, no. You're capable and eager, and I appreciate that. Just between us? I wish I had more soldiers like you. We'd bring the South back to its former glory in no time. But still, you've just arrived. Yes, I do. But this one's dangerous. Some time ago, I sent one of my men out to bring back a deserter. But he's been gone a while, and there's no sign of him. So now, I need someone to find both of them. And I'm not sending any more of my own men. My best guess would be somewhere near the abandoned stronghold far to the north. But beware. Our men on the walls are convinced they'd seen dense clouds of the weirdness forming near that damned place. It's not an easy task. So yes, if you make it back, that will be more than enough to prove your resolve. Sure it is. What? You think anyone here would bother building a monument to King Arthur's...
We'll make short work of you. Oh. about that.
someone's out there. I've taken down bigger foes. There's another blow to our already decimated garrison. Peace be with them. Do I want to know how they died? I understand. Thank you. There's this weird thing there. What's so important about meeting Brandon that keeps you here? You came from nowhere, started helping around, and got paid jack shit for your struggle. I honestly have no idea why you stick around despite my best efforts to drive you away. All right, but please accept my apologies first. I know I royally screwed you over on that last job. I just had to know if you'd make a run for it when the going got tough. And it will get tough real soon if we don't take care of a certain issue. If we fail now, there's a high likelihood we'll be hanged by the end of the month. I promise it's not. Let me explain. Camelot isn't happy with the situation in the South. And I just heard they've sent a knight of the round table, Galahad the Pure, to investigate what's going on here. I don't know what they want to investigate, especially since they've been giving us the silent treatment for months. But if a knight is coming here, well, there's something serious going on.
The truth is that you can't see the captain because he's not here. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell anyone. And if I wasn't wrong about you, and I can count on your help, you just have to promise me that this entire charade stays between us. Or... Brandon went to the Old Mother's Temple to speak with the Dalriada. I don't know what he wanted to achieve. I assume he wanted to negotiate a ceasefire, or maybe he wanted to rile them, but right now, I'm not sure he's even alive. And that would make my situation consider- And if he is alive, then Camelot and many- If you really care that much about seeing him, you'll have to find a way to their- I don't even know if it's possible to get inside their camp and to make it out alive, but if you do manage to get back here somehow, that's it. I consider our deal done. belongs to us now. Huh? You're finished! You're only making me angrier! 